found somebody. I say you don't cross my mind. And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine. Okay. Welcome back. I'm not gonna use a microphone today because I, I last time when I was trying to use a microphone, it was really dysfunctional. And I think it took away from my excitement of filming. So I'm not gonna use a microphone this time. So if the audio is terrible, I apologize in advance. Anyways, today, so I just got ready. I think this is I think this is the outfit for today. I have a little thrifted jeans. I have this is probably a shirt from like Walmart, thrifted, thrifted sweater thing. Um, and today, today we are going to talk about how to make your Instagram pictures look like they were taken in the 90s and that you are a vintage baddie because we love being vintage baddies. <laughs> to, to edit my Instagram photos, I use two main apps and the first one is Tessa, T-E-Z-Z-A, and I'm going to screen record so that I can show. So the first app that I use is Tessa, and I use this app mostly for color correction and for adding a filter. We are going to edit this picture here, which doesn't have any edits. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do when I'm editing is I will add the cocoa filter, and then I will bring it down. So that just kind of gives it a nice little warmth to it. And then I will go and either up the brightness or up the exposure depending on the picture so here i'm going to up the brightness a little bit because i want the leaves to look a little brighter and then i'm also going to change the contrast just so that it really makes all the colors kind of stand out so once i do that i'm going to go into highlights and i'm going to bring the highlights a little down or up depending on the picture so this picture i think i'm going to go down one um, and here we can see like the differences aren't drastic, but the picture is starting to come a little more together And then I'm gonna go into temperature and I'm going to go So if you go down in temperature, it will make a picture more blue if you go up It will make a picture a little more orange um, because it's adding warmth to it So in this case, I don't want the picture to be blue I want it to be sunny because it's a picture taken at golden hour. So I'm gonna add picture up a little bit there so now we can see that it's a little more golden and the other thing that you could do i'm not going to do it for this one but if you go to hsl then sometimes i will kind of change the brightness of the sky because sometimes the the sky gets a little overexposed so i'm not going to do that this time but that's something that you could do and so you would just click, click blue and then you would go down in luminance or up in luminance. So actually, maybe I'll go down in luminance. But you have to be careful with this one because sometimes if you do too much, it'll make the sky look really wonky. So yeah, that's how I edit my pictures on Tessa. So then I'll save that and then what I'll do is I'll go into Daz Cam. And what I use is the D Classic. Um, that's the setting that I use. So I use D Classic, which kind of gives it like a, a nice film look. And then I'm going to go add photo and I'm going to add the photo that we just edited. And then you can see it here. And that's how the photo looks. And that is my five minute explanation of how I edit my Instagram photos. So I hope you like it. I hope, oh, <laughs> this is a mess. I hope that that was helpful if you're looking to figure out how to edit your Instagram photos. What a, what a gorgeous photo. And that's how I edit my Instagram photos. If that was helpful, um, leave a like, subscribe. I'm going to do some more book videos this week, but I thought I'd finally record the tutorial of how I edit my <laughs> Instagram photos because I get a lot of questions about it. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here, not just on this video, but on this planet. And I hope to see you next time whenever I upload next time, which I don't know when that will be, but yeah. 